Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back again, everyone, to my YouTube video channel. Today, I want to share with you a couple of uh, tricks and tips on how to remove uh, any two pretty much uh, comfortably. Now, back in the day, uh, <clears throat> we using the typical straight and curved elevator to remove the tube, right? And then uh, your school sometimes don't supply you enough tool for you to do, and you always struggle with taking out uh, tube, and especially when you see a long route, uh, when you see a uh, 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 Pretty much like, uh, let's say you're trying to re remove the premolar for orthodontist purpose and you stress out. Now, there's a couple of ways to remove a version two. For example, for uh, auto purpose, you can do is uh, simply, uh, if you, if, if let's say if it's extraction for uh, uh, braces purpose, you, you don't want to remove that tube right away. You should put braces on the patient and you remove that you put braces on all every teeth, including the tooth to be removed. Two or three weeks later, the patient come back, the tooth is mobile. That's where you numb the patient and you can take it out. Each of the tooth, you can take it out within one minute. It's done. So I guarantee it's going to be fast and painless for the patient. And those of you being referred by uh, or, or, uh, or an orthodontist and uh, I also suggest you, guy, that thinking about the benefit of the Dow of the, of the general dentist or oral surgeon, you know, yeah, at the surgeon or at the dentist, we can take out any tube we want to, any time, any tube we want to. But it's the matter of how comfortable uh, uh, you want your patient to have after the extraction. So uh, the key thing is to help your patient now by uh, having the patient uh, experience your braces you put on first, move, um, uh, luxate the tube by uh, uh, whitening the PDL, the periodontal ligament, and then you, uh, a few weeks, and then when you take it out, it's a lot easy. So um, I encourage orthodontists or general dentists to think about the, the best thing for your patient. Uh, now, <clears throat> uh, that being said, it's for the version tube, like a nice uh, clean tube. But let's say if you want to take out, uh, if you have a tube that is considered a difficult tube and you need some kind of uh, mobility before you take it out, the traditional way that you use in the elevator and you also remove a little bit of uh, buckle bone and things like that. And nowadays, you know, there's few ways to do uh my my traditional way of doing a broken back and bad tube is I actually clean up everything coronally and then I make in a section, whether it's mesodistal or buccal lingual, depend on uh, the situation, how much uh, a tube structure I can see clearly. And it's, and then I put the elevator in, uh, it's like a screwdriver and I twist it and it just come out right out and it's very, very simple. So that's, that's, that's the second way to go for broken tube down. But also, let's say uh, that you have a case where the tube's still um, fairly in decent shape, but it needs to be removed. You need some kind of uh, uh, um, uh, um, mobility. So yes, you can use a straight elevator or you can uh, actually using what we call a the luxator. I have something in my hand here. You can get this from uh, um, anywhere in the uh, um, dental uh, um, supply company, okay? You can see how sh uh, sharp this, uh, this uh, luxator is. Uh, it, this is how it looks like, okay? You can see it. I want to make sure you can see it from this view. See this? Okay? That's the, the luxator, okay? I want you to see it. Yeah, let me pull it back there. Better. Can you see it? The luxator. So there is a uh, uh, angle. You see how it angle? Okay? And the other one is straight. This is this is amazing tool to take out, um, to uh, to basically luxate the root, 
before you take it out. It's so, so easy for your life. You do need to sharpen in this uh, when it gets dull. But <clears throat> you see how this, this is like this? And uh, I'm going to show you uh, where to find them. So nice and easy for your life. You put some pressure here and hold it, hold it, hold it. Twist, twist slowly. And they put the tube is luxate. Then you grab the forceps and you can take it out. So again, this is luxator. I just want to show you that. It comes into a pack. So I want to see if I can share the screen for you guys, okay? And share you um, the... Uh, the uh, some video that I see on here. Hang on, okay. Thank you for uh, me an opportunity for me to share the screen. I want to show you this, okay. So let's share the screen. So um, this is directly from the uh, company called uh, Director uh, Luxator. So I I jump into right into those video. Uh, so you can go to the uh, www.directdental.com and uh, uh, search for the video. So uh, let me just show you this right here. Let me let me go back. You can see how he put his finger. I want you to see this, okay? He put his finger really close to to the root, to the to the tip of the luxator. And uh, the 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 other thing that he he talking about is making sure that um, making sure that you are not using the edge of the uh, the peritone the or the luxator. But you are putting along the, the the root surface and trying to break the ligament. That's the key. And you, so I want you to see one more time. And you can see the tube is moving because you put pressure al along the root. Okay. Once it's loose, you can use the forceps or any tool to remove it. So that's which one I want. Make sure you understand that. That's called the luxator P series. Um, next is he's gonna. Sh this is important, guy. Again, along the root, guys. And it, this is a, a unique tool. It's like a, a pen. You hold it's like a pen. Um, come with a set. Uh, a good part of this one is it's, uh, it's, uh, 
it doesn't get dull compared to the other uh, stainless steel material. Very powerful tool. Um, so yeah, it would be nice to get this set. So the next one is Luxator 40 elevator. Beautiful guys. So as you can see, uh, I just show you the video of the company director, a dental is a company from European country. Uh, they do, they produce amazing uh, oral surgery too. It's really help you to uh, do, uh, get yourself confident. But again, today topic is just how to take out the tube confidently most important thing is you have to identify the uh, create the mobility the the uh, the ligament has to be loosened up before you wrap the forceps now a lot of young dentists trying to use your hand and do the work it's not good in the long run it's going to hurt your hand so it's not how strong you are but it's just what you need to use your brain and brain and do it confidently minimally invasive so I put down a lot of video on my YouTube channel. I hope that you can search, type in uh, how to remove um, endodontist uh, broken tube or how to remove uh, uh, a tube, uh, a wisdom tube. There's a lot of video on my, uh, uh, on my channel. If you want to learn more, subscribe to my channel and follow me. Hope to see you next video. Thank you for watching today everyone and i hope that i uh, appreciate that those of you who like what i do please subscribe to my channel and hit hit the like button or make some comment i really appreciate it have a good thanksgiving everyone